Hey everybody, my name is Ricky. Uh, I'm going to do a quick review on a couple of in-ear monitors. Um, <clears throat> I started using in-ear monitors back about six months ago. I wasn't really familiar with them, so I went out and I had bought a pair of the Shure SC215s from the local music store. So I needed something quickly. Uh, so these are single driver um, in-ear monitors from Sure. I recently got a set off of Amazon uh, and these are going to be the, um, the KZZS10 Pros. They are a five driver uh, in-ear monitor. So I kind of want to talk to you a little bit about what the differences between having multi drivers and single drivers are and kind of what my opinions are after having used the single drivers for a while. Uh, first and foremost, to kind of understand, a single driver is basically like a single small speaker inside of each earbud. Um, so each of the earbuds, and I'll, I'll have some pictures so that you can kind of see, um, has a single speaker inside of it, sort of say. The multi-driver or the five driver version, in this particular case there's five, um, but some of them have two drivers, some of them have three, four, etc, etc. Uh, they have basically five small speakers um, inside of them. Uh, and speakers is not necessarily the right term because they're not exactly speakers, but just to kind of get an idea, um, one of them is going to be um, different than the other four, uh, and that's going to be more towards the low end stuff, your, your bass, guitar, and stuff like that. Um, after having used the, the single driver Shures for uh, six to eight months or so, um, I was having a really hard time with my mixes uh, when I'm on stage where like if I had the, the bass guitar in my mix at all, like even just a little bit, it drowned out everything. Um, I would have a hard time hearing my guitar in the mix with other guitars if I'm trying to hear them at all. Um, singers you know so even trying to balance things one ear to the other um, and separating instruments you know in the individual ears it was really hard to pick up on certain things um, I noticed that as soon as I started using the five drivers ear uh, in ear monitors um, I could fade the bass to one side and have everything else in one ear and I could I could hear everybody individually which is something I kind of lost in, in the single drivers so what ends up happening is when you have too many different instruments and you only have a single speaker trying to play them, everything gets kind of muddied um, and everything's kind of just jumbled together. And so you can get really lost uh, and, and have a hard time hearing everybody. Um, with these, I was able to have everybody set and be able to hear everybody. Um, and not have a hard time. You know, I, I was able to hear my instrument, never lose track. I can hear the click track, uh, you know, just everything that I needed to hear, I can hear perfectly fine. Uh, with the Shures, I, I couldn't, I would have to inevitably leave somebody out of the mix altogether. Um, you know, and sometimes you don't need to hear certain instruments and that's fine. But there are some times where you'd like to be able to hear them or, or you know, you're following maybe one person or another, or you just want to hear something and with the single drivers, it's really easy to get lost if you don't um, pan everything a certain way or whatever. Uh, so it's a lot easier to get your mixes set right when you have a multi-driver um, headphone. Uh, and it's kind of one reason why I wanted to make this video is because, you know, if you're new to using any of your monitors, uh, one of the suggestions I would make would be to, um, one, the these were about $30 cheaper, the five driver. Um, the thing with it is that you just had to simply, you know, wait for, for shipping. Um, these are easier to get to in the Shures uh, because a lot of your local music stores will carry the, the Shures. Um, but if you have the option to wait, you know, a couple days for shipping from Amazon, uh, then you can get a better sounding um, in-ear monitor for uh, a little bit cheaper. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm necessarily disliking the Shures. There are some things that the Shure has that the other one doesn't um, that I did like. I think that the cable, for one, is a better build quality. Um, it It is thicker. It's got a better protecting over it. Um, I like the ends. What actually plugs into the 
um, monitor itself, the way they connect. I like those better on the Shures. Uh, the Shures came with um, noise isolating um, earphones as well as the regular, you know, like rubber style. So you have two different styles to choose from and they came with um, small, medium and large in both sets. So you have plenty of ear uh, phones to choose from. Um, I like how the Shures have the individual um, driver mark. One is marked red, one is marked blue. So it's easy to see which one goes in the left and which one goes in the right. Um, so that was something I kind of was like fumbling over with, with the uh, KZ CS10 Pros was that they're pretty much identical. So you kind of have to, you know, it's not hard to figure out, but it's easier to see with indicators on it. Uh, so that's a plus for the shirt. The shirt also had a nice case that it came with. Um, so you can carry it with you. Uh, it even has a little tool that you can use to clean out the ear tips and whatnot, um, which is nice. Um, so the KZ 10 Pros that, you know, I, I like the sound of them better. Uh, they're also $30 cheaper, but with that $30 cheaper, you also lose out on a couple of things like the tool and, and the carrying case. So each set definitely has its plus and its minuses. Um, you know, at the end of the day, if you're, uh, you know, just getting into ear monitors and starting to use those, um, if I had to choose one to take on stage with me, um, I will probably be taking the ZS10 Pros, um, the five drivers. It just has a cleaner overall sound when you start adding multiple instruments into the mix um, you know if you're in one of those situations where you don't have a whole lot of uh, other tracks mixed in with you uh, other instruments or whatever um, you know the shirts may work better for you um, like I said I think they have a better build quality uh, that they I think are a little bit more comfortable in the ear um, the stainless steel casing on the CS10 Pros is um, not uncomfortable, but it's not quite as comfortable as the shirts. So uh, just kind of something to think about. Also, like I said before, you can pretty much get the shirts at most of your local music stores. So if you're in a hurry, you need a pair really quickly. Um, you know, you can definitely go that route. Uh, but at the end of the day, I do like the sound better out of the KZ10 Pros. Um, I will put links to both um, down in the description below. Um, so definitely go check those out. Um, if you've used either set before, leave comments um, and what you think is, is the better sounding one or uh, whatever your preference is. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. <laughs> what do we need to do? Hit that notification bell, smash the like button, and subscribe to the channel.